Let's see how you can use the Crochet Lace Edge Picture Tubes in Pencha Pro. I open a large image that is about 3000 pixels in length and 500 pixels in height. This will just give me enough room to work with my lace. Selecting the Picture Tube tool, I will find the picture tube that I want to use. So let's say that I want to use the third one. Once it's selected, I have to make sure that I don't touch any of the settings because they were set exactly to give the best result. And I simply draw with my cursor. And now I have an edge. You can do it freehand and have it slightly uneven. Or you can click on one end, hold the shift key, click on the other end, and you have a perfectly straight lace. This lace can now be colorized any way I want. I simply have to use the adjust, hue and saturation, colorize, and from there I can choose the color I want. Green, orangey, red, purple, blue, and I can increase or decrease the saturation depending on what effect I want to get. Now that I have a straight lace, I can also use it to create a frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in a bit and trim my lace at a point in between each loop. So to make sure that I'm accurate, I will pull a guide at that location and I will pull another guide at the other end. Now it's going to be easier for me to trim it. Using the selection tool set to a rectangle, I will select from guide to guide and I will go to image, crop to selection and I have my lace ready to create a metered corner frame. Right now my image is 2500 pixels so I will make a square frame using this lace. The meter corner frame script will create a frame based on whatever element I have and it will create it below this lace. So it's going to have the loops inside the frame. If I want to have the loops outside the frame, I will have to go first to image, flip, vertical and have my lace this way. So I have my metered corner frame script selected here. I will run it. And the size will be exactly the size of my lace, which is 2508. 2508. And I don't have anything symmetrical or directional, so I use the third option. And now I have a perfect square laced frame. And if you look at the corners, they look great, don't they? So it's your turn now to use a crochet lace edge picture tube to create your next project. Have fun!